That's a tough one to follow. I didn't write no poem or nothing. Um, my name is Patrick Duff. I'm a Haddon Heights resident. I'm going to make a suggestion because of New Jersey's new Daniel Law that we all know about. You can fill out the form if you'd like to. Yeah, well, you don't make your residents state their address. Uh, nobody asks you to state your address, and I bet you if I asked you to, you wouldn't state it because you'd feel like that was a bit of an incrimination upon your privacy. So uh, in Medford, they were actually using people's addresses after they gave comment to send zoning officials out to their properties to go do spot checks on them uh, because they wanted to use their First Amendment. So just reconsider that rule because the citizens deserve the same thing as the politicians do with the new Daniel Law rule. Uh, my new book just came out, Rabble Rouser Rising, this week, number one in white crime uh, biography bestsellers on Amazon. Um, part of this does discuss Evesham Township, discusses the, the house down the road here, a half mile that had 100 dead, dead dogs found at it. Um, and a lot of the inconsistencies that I've found um, uh, in, in what happened prior to that. Um, in 2018, there was a complaint that the, that the woman that was living at that house had you know, 16 kittens and several cats that she had the house with other animals. That was a complaint given to the police department. Um, and it doesn't seem like anything was done about that. In 2019, another complaint made. Uh, 2021, she was caught selling dogs at the church parking lot. Uh, 2022, which is the most disturbing thing, is that the young girl, the daughter of the woman that lived in that house, walked to, into the 7-Eleven November of 2019, or 2022, and reported uh, the house being filled with dead dogs. Evesham police went out to the house. Um, it seems like the state removed her from the house, but they left an uh, eight-year-old boy in the house. And I don't see how that, that happens and how that was missed. Um, and, and on top of that, right, so the person that ran the rescue, her name's Lynn Mangano. Uh, Lynn Mangano was there the day that the person from the animal rescue came up from North Carolina to get their dogs out of the house. She was there as the, the, the rescue owner, and the person at the house, her name's Rebecca Halbeck, was there as the, the, the foster. As the rescue owner, she had the responsibility for these animals. And your township, your police department, is literally working directly with her, directly with her to cover up her crimes. I have got emails showing that officers are giving her bullet points. Hey, just get these four things for us and we're all good. A call was made that said that Lynn Mangano from your Evesham department to Lindenwald said that she had 100 cats in her house, 30 of them dead. Similar situation to down here. The Lindenwald police went out and knocked on her door one time there was a woman named Kelly Bowen who was basically entrapped by these two people who were friends with the animal rescue. She had no idea they were. She came out to the house. The house doors were open. She went in and took a video of the house. The women from Texas somehow, uh, there was a woman that asked your officers, how do you charge somebody with breaking and entering? Well, the officer said the only way you charge them is the person who owns the residence. Well, somehow on the police report, they allowed a woman from Texas and a woman from Virginia to sign a police complaint against this woman named Kelly Bowen, who all she did was literally take a video of the inside of the house and take something out of the trash, and your officers broke or did a no-knock warrant at her house at 6.45 a.m. in West Berlin Township. For what? For a video that she would be willing to give them freely, which she did. She was willing to give them. They took her phone forever. They said they'll never give her a phone back. She's now facing all these felony charges. But Lynn Mangano, the one responsible for hundreds of dead dogs, hundreds of dead dogs over a period of years, is going to walk with the help of your police department? And I have it all documented. You need to do an investigation. You have your contracts coming up. Talk to your chief. Really find out what happened. They kept me out of the press conference, the last press conference, because they knew I'd ask questions about why nothing was done when that little girl was found in that house with hundreds of dead, dead dogs. If I was that little girl's guardians, I'd get a lawyer. Thank you.